Mike, 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 Mike. Whoa, what's up? Whoa. Hey, buddy. What's going on? We're supposed to go to the library to study the human sex ratio tonight. Oh, that's right, man. But you know, I thought maybe it was more important to get down to the gym, you know, pump some iron before the big game. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right? No. Like that? Yeah. If you don't study, how are you going to keep your grades up? How? How are you going to go to college? And just oh. look at that. Yeah, I know, but uh, that'll all take care of itself if I uh, just stay focused. Hey, guys. Uh, hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. I uh, just found out that I got accepted to RPI. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah. Are you Thanks. going to be an engineer? No. Wait, then. Why didn't you apply? Well, RPI is filled with really, really cute, like, really smart and soon-to-be really rich guys. It's true. Need oh, I say geez. more? She's yes. Bob, oh, don't you get it? Think of it from our perspective. College is all about the babes. That's why I applied to cosmetology school. Oh, God. Think about it. Yeah. You applied to cosmetology yeah. school? It's filled with chicks. Are Brilliant. you kidding me? Yeah. So, why? 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 Just why think is about it. Reasoning? Many, many ladies, only one mic. You do the math. Jeez, I don't get it. <laughs> but that's not the point. At least you guys now know that we get. Well, at least we have a way to study the human sex ratio. We do? Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff online about it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I was studying the uh, female ratio online last night. You know Ew, what I mean? Gross. Yeah. Gross. Like let's do this. Let's no, hold on. This. I got time for a quick push up. Oh, Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Yeah. You like that? Good form, too. Yeah. Let's just say that you were searching for babes. Okay, where? I don't care where. Well, let's say a singles bar then. Alright, I suppose we can use that. So say you walked in the door, what would you hope to see? Well, I would want to see this instead of this to increase the chance of this. Grody, err! Okay. Will you guys stop it now? As I was saying, Gary, you on the other hand would... I would want to see the exact opposite ratio. Exactly. From an evolutionary perspective, the greatest advantage for passing on your genes is being a member of the minority sex. Now imagine that you wanted to have kids. What would put them at an advantage? Well, being fem female would give them an easier time finding a mate when they grow, grow up, because there are so many more men than women. Right, but the thing is that... If people who are having the more, most success are the ones having lots of female babies, then over time, the sex ratio would become more balanced. And the more you use the strategy, the less effective it becomes. Just like the wildcat formation. Wow. This is the deepest insight I've had since I decided to apply for cosmetology school. You're absolutely right on both counts, Mike. <laughs> but there is one other thing. Why would something like this ever happen? I mean... Women can't just magically start having more girls, no matter how good of a strategy it is. You're right, Mike. But if a woman was lucky enough to have a mutation that caused her to have more girl babies, she would be nat she would naturally do better, even if she didn't realize why. That mutation would get inherited by her kids, and the end result over many generations would be a balance between the number of males and females. Because as the number of females increased, it would be less advantageous to have female kids. Okay, I think I understand it. You see, let's say you had a population that was like cosmetology school because it had a lot more females than males. In other words, it was over here on my drawing. Now what would happen is, just like I figured out, when there's a lot of females, it's better to be male. It's easier to find a mate. So what would happen is, if anybody in this population had a mutation that helped them to have more male babies, then their kids would have an advantage, and that gene would become more common over time. Right. That's called evolution by natural selection. So once that gene was being selected for because it gave the people who had an advantage, more people would get it and more male babies would be born and so the population would start to move this way. And the funny thing about it is that the more people who use this strategy, the less well it works. The whole reason that it was good in the first place was because there were so many females. But the more people use it, the more males are born. So 
So it doesn't work as well as it did when you started. Yeah, and that's density dependent selection. Okay, density dependent. Because so the denser the trait, the less advantageous it is to have. Right. And when it would really start to slow down was right around when you came to the middle, because right at the middle there's no more advantage in being male. That's and the, that's the equilibrium point. Right, the equilibrium point. Because if you had the opposite situation, like RPI, where you have a lot of males, then the, it would tend to evolve this way. The exact opposite thing would happen. So the equilibrium point is where it's stable. Yep, and it's called the Fisher equilibrium. Fisher, huh? Yeah. Why is that? Because you don't pay attention in biology class. Come on, why is it called Fisher equilibrium? Because a biologist named Fisher came up with the idea. Oh, well that's simple enough. Whoa, I'll tell you, I am dehydrated from pumping iron with my brain muscle. Your brain you know muscle? About? Yeah. The brain is not a muscle. Mm. How many times Look, do you have you can to exercise realize it? That's it's a muscle. In you. That's what I say. No, it's not. That's, you exercise it and it gets stronger, just like a muscle. Yeah. <laughs> you better save some of that water for the real football players, besides. Oh, I know, Ooh. Carrie, look, just because I'm not on the there. football team now, <laughs> I've explained to you that does not necessarily mean that I can't be in the NFL later. Yes, it's right. a, if you've not been playing football. Okay, well, have you ever heard of Pierre Garçon, who no. went to a Division three school and is in the NFL now? Yeah, but that's a lot like cosmetology school. No, because it's a little school me. that doesn't cosmetology have cosmetology school is division non-existent. Oh, but you know, it doesn't exist. Think of how much more durable I'll be after having sat out all those years compared to the guys who were banging up their bodies. In yeah, you'd be completely durable there. You have cut hair and black makeup. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm not going to really focus much on the hair well, cutting aspect of going to well, cosmetology whatever. school. But you know, at least I'm glad that you, as my intellectual under have retained my honor by learning yeah. this concept. Yeah, all right, Mr. Condescending. I think that uh, what we need to do to lighten up right now is play game. What? Go, go, go. Oh! 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 Oh!